Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go through how to install ClamAV on Windows. Basically, it's not really installing because we're going to download the portable version and make it um, active, do the initial set, uh, setup stages so we can scan a fa file, in my case, or a folder. So, the first thing you need to do is go to the ClamAV um, website and download the latest version of your operating system version. Once this is done, you'll get a file on the desktop. Extract that file. You will get this folder. This folder has multiple files all of them command line so the first thing you need to do is go to the config file take both of these files back in here change their name remove the sample once you remove the sample open them in your favorite editor Just a second, I'm closing things up here. Open it in your favorite editor. And you'll see that they have the word example. Just remove the word example, save it. Now open a CMD. make it a bit larger and let's go to this folder once you're in this folder call the fresh plan command this will update the database created basically so we'll be ready to scan we're almost there all right once it's done and everything is ready you just go to this file and go to clam not to d scan because that's from my understanding the older version you take clam scan you put it here and you want you register uh, add the file you want to scan or folder or something like that has uh, additional commands I'll show you in the documentation you can go to where is it scan all right scanning and you'll see additional commands for the not climb top not climb the here You'll see from the for the clamp scan some additional commands and you can always use the clamp scan help get additional information in my case i just want to scan one file because of a false positive and this uh, antivirus now i'm scanning that particular file this is the way it scans Now it says it's found something and the particular thing it found, additional information and whatever. I, I don't know why you would use CLAM a, a V as an antivirus, but if you do, this is how you quickly set it up uh, to scan. For me, it's just that it was identifying a false positive and I'm trying to communicate with the open source community to have them manually check the issue but if you ever want to use it on Windows, this is how you do it. 